And welcome back to the Rums of Puerto Rico Las Vegas Open ran by the Predator Pro Billiard Series. Our next match for today is another very interesting matchup between Moscone Cup champion Skylar Woodward and young upcoming rising star Bane McBride. I am Tim De Reuter and alongside in the commentary booth is another Moscone Cup player, Chris Reinold. Welcome back, Chris. What's up, Tim? How's it going? Good. I'm looking forward to this match. Yeah, me too. Oh, they're just joking and messing around. Skylar's saying that... Uh, no, we'll just let you listen. Best two out of three is basically what he's saying. Well, there has been this thing earlier this week where the referee said, listen, if the, the balls are there, you don't move them. Or, oh, maybe because one has hit the short reel earlier than the other one. <laughs> I mean, we are playing a, I believe it's a lose around two match. Sky lost his first round, so he's, of course, trying to put himself in a good position in this loser round match. Okay, so... I'm just guessing Skyler's cue ball hits the short rail before Payne has hit his cue ball. I think that's. Yeah, I, th I think that must have been the thing, but I actually do think Skyler doesn't want to argue about this with a youngster like Payne. They're just chatting and checking out and this is an interesting start to the match. Chris, what do you think? I'll be honest, I have no clue what's going on. So it's hard to say anything about my opinion when I, I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> yeah, I just now the referee went to the tournament desk, so obviously something has happened, but I really have no clue. And I actually do know that both players wouldn't care more or less. You know Sky and I know Payne pretty well. I have no clue that, I mean, they're not gonna argue. Yeah, I'm just curious what they're arguing about. Um, you Didn't you say that they had a lag before the match actually started? That might have been the thing. Like it looked like he was already having the referee wreck him for him, and like I, I know I, I have not seen the whole thing happen, but it looked to me like something more happened than this. Okay, so. Yeah. Yeah, so basically what the referee is saying is that Sky has hit the cue ball and hit the short rail before Payne has actually hit the cue ball. If you look at it, the cue ball travels from Sky. Sky hits the short rail before the other player does and officially in the rules it says that they have to relag. Mm, okay, that so makes a lot so more sense so now. So now Sky says, well, but if we relag, is it like two out of three or something then? Because why would we relag? But yeah, it is officially this is the rule and it's just that these are the small little details in the rules that all the EPBF referees, they actually do know. 
and there has been many referees in the past which don't know all the rules and they would just don't look at little details like this so they're making the real lag it's Like I mentioned before, both players, I don't think they really care that much. But <laughs> <laughs> hey, in the end, it didn't matter. Twice in a row is actually not wow. the best guy. <laughs> that was a, those are both really good legs. Okay, so... Oh, the exciting like, match already, huh? <laughs> yeah, this has been more exciting than some other matches I've seen in my life. It's a good lag, I mean, <laughs> not bad. So, we are playing two races of four. Winner break, we tie one each, we go to a deciding shootout. The loser is out of the Las Vegas Open. The winner actually has another chance to go through and get to the last 32 stage. Yeah, a little bit more unusual start to the match. I'm actually a little bit flabbergasted about everything that just happened. So what do you think about this match here, Chris? I think Payne has to establish himself early. Um, I think his only chance to win the set is to win the first set. Because if he wins the first set, it puts pressure on Sky, and then he's in the shootout if he loses the second set. But I really do think when you have a better player on paper, you have to technically start off better than you normally do. Put some pressure on yeah, him, it, you know? Yeah, it's also Sky is going to get into stroke at some point. Well, they get pretty decent breakout. There's a shot on the one with the two and the three pretty nearby. But I was going to mention, if Payne shows up early in the match, Sky might be a little bit out of stroke still. The more time goes over this, Sky gets into stroke and might be dangerous. Oh, a little bit firm, a little bit wild on the one ball. Can he still uh, get maybe behind a the thin ball? hit? Um, I don't think he can get behind the three without at least running into the nine ball with a two ball. Might come off a little too, too straight. So you would go for the two still behind the nine, but hopefully find a window and get behind the five ball. He's called the bank shot. Safety of mind, I guess. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know he could hit that much of it. Oh, he's, he has found the window. So Payne coming in here. Um, let's see how he attacks this shot. I think Good shot got, there. Yeah, I was going to say, quite impressed. was not easy to do. And especially you could hear the shot clock in the background. Which is a big factor, especially for Payne being so young. Could be tough to play Sky and rush himself maybe a little bit. Yeah, that was a really creative and good shot there. Hiding the two. This is a jump shot all the way. Let's see what he does here. Yeah, he's grabbing the jump cue. Yeah. Yeah, there is no other visits kicking-wise that can give him much more. I believe he's called the eight ball, the corner.
Interesting. Wisely uses his extension. I feel like the eight ball is a little low to be kind of even made, right? Yeah. Well, I don't believe him to the carom, but maybe I was going to say he needs a decent hit on the two ball. Caught it a little bit thick. If he had the cue ball run into the ten ball, I believe the separation would have been good. Good enough to take an extension. Oh, wow. All right, so Payne with another opportunity. Go in the side pocket, come up to about where the two ball is now. Go back up and down the table. Do you use right English on this, Tim, or do you just keep it with a middle high ball? No, I think you need a drip of right. This way you can cut the two ball a little thinner and still push the cue ball through the two ball. Just a hair of right. Oh, well, I mean, this is a different way of thinking. I like it, to be honest. Stay away from the traffic. Good option from Payne. So if he can get that is a comp that's, a, that's a show of confidence, for sure, to want to go to the corner pocket instead of the side pocket. Harder shot, but better, you know, easier position play. Well, it's also, I know this young kid has been working with D. Atkins for quite some time, especially when he started playing pool. And D would teach us a lot about sometimes it's better to shoot towards a corner and get used shooting towards the corner because, you know, shooting to the side, making the ball is not that interesting. But sometimes you cannot get the perfect shape shooting to the side. So if you teach yourself shooting towards the corner and now you have to play the side, it's easier. And, well, definitely shooting that two ball to the corner was a lot easier than we thought going to the side, probably. The only thing really Payne good shot has... There. Thank you. I was going to say, the only thing Payne has to watch is a shot clock because a couple balls so far he's had uh, the timer going off sorry Chris that's okay the um, the thing about that is if you need to use all the shot clock and the buzzing doesn't bother you it's okay every now and then to just let it happen like that but like you said it's better to not have it go off in your backstroke right well you just want to make sure doesn't happen last one or two seconds you know if you drop if you're down on the shot and you know oh the beep is there oh well I'm done in a couple seconds anyways then you're fine but shot clock management I've learned last year that it's so much more important than most of the people think yeah, of course Especially when or when you use your extension and when you don't. That's a really big key there. Gotta say, after that missed two ball from Sky, so far, Payne has been playing good angles. He's looking steady, doesn't move on the shot. Good execution so far. Don't know exactly why he has called a temple in the corner, but maybe just to prevent any arguments. Maybe he watched the Mika and Deluna match one time. Yeah, there are so many different opinions about that too. I mean, rules are rules. We all know how it goes. Tense battles, you know, it's... At this point, I'm actually not surprised about pool anymore. There's there's always going to be things happening, arguments and misunderstandings. The main thing is just as a player, you can prevent having these arguments or these situations come up. And that's by 
playing the game exactly by the book. So that's why I said I don't blame him calling the corner on the 10 ball. But he takes the first rack. And this is exactly what we meant. If he can take it maybe 2-0, 3-0, he could put Skyler into a difficult position. Well, not too bad result. One ball on the break, I believe, and shape on the two ball. Yeah, one ball into the corner. Difficult position on the three ball. Would you go to the center of the table, Chris? Yeah, I would just barely try to miss the six and get in between the six and the five, giving myself some angle to go from the three to the four. But so this I would probably do it's a little bit of high English, because you don't want it to take too much, but you want to just avoid the six a little bit. You don't want to run into the six here. Yeah, you kind of let it go it's a little bit too far. Oh, it turns out to be perfect. Good shot. Yeah. Yeah, especially playing that line. If he came up too short, he had a decent shot on the three ball, and now he's ran into the five, which worked out as well. Good stroke there. Now he's going to go out two rails for the five in this left-hand side pocket. A bit of high right English. Unless he has a little more angle, he could just come up with high left. But I like using the high right. So that way you kind of take away a lot of the things that could happen with you hooking yourself on the eight ball or the ten ball. Yeah, he could play stun left also. But rather be too high than too low. Yeah, I was I think gonna he got say you, on the, in the eight ball here. You gotta play that two rails. Make sure you get above the eight. Didn't matter if you run too far, but you cannot get too low behind the eight. So, can he still play maybe a little messy? That would be my only thing. Um, is I, think, I believe he called the corner. Is he banking it? Oh, he he's played seven. Wow. Well, he came up can with a big shot. And I think he can still make the five. That, that was a huge shot on the seven ball. This looks easy. With right English, too. That's... Well, actually, it did look a little bit tougher on the five. I'm starting to doubt if the five will go. It did go. <laughs> oh, yeah, never a, a doubt. What a shot on the 5-7 combo there from Payne McBride. Great recovery shot. And now Skyler's sitting in his chair wondering if he should have two-stroked that straight in ball or not. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's missed the two ball. But from there, actually, Payne took off. Yeah, he hasn't been back to the table since, correct? No. No pain ran out, and then now... Or maybe just safeties. Not exactly sure, but in the end, pain did run out, and then now this is from the break. And if he doesn't have to go back all the way, just center of the table. Decent angle on the nine. Good stroke there. Very good stroke. Yeah, maybe to some viewers, he doesn't look too, say, too natural because he's, well, I mean, most of the players look a little bit more tight and more straight in their technique. He takes a little longer, you know, pre-shot swings, but doesn't really move. Looks comfortable. And this is for 
two zero lead. Pay McBride. Good stroke there. Two zero Pay McBride with Skyler only making one mistake so far. Yeah, nice break and run from Pay McBride as well. I mean, like I mentioned before, that combination on the five seven. It's not like it was the best shot ever, but they actually needed to make something happen because he's hooked himself and he came up with a great shot. Yeah, thousands of pool fans, players in the background at the CSI and Predator Expo. It's always going to give us a great crowd. And of course, with so many top American players in this building, they're always curious to see how their national champs are going to do in a huge event like this. All right, Pay McBride to break up 2 0, break from the left hand side rail. And Skyler is hoping for a shot this wreck. Look at this, Tim. Hey, these breaks are tough to fade. I mean, the close shape on the two ball. Perfect break if you look at the one ball as well. Yeah, any challenges on the rack? Don't see it if you get decent on the two. Four to the five is connected. Uh, one, uh, the two to the three ball, sorry. So if you can get decently straight on the four, you get automatic angle on the five to the six. The rack is laying pretty good for a 3-0 lead and being on the hill first for Pay McBride. Yeah, I think I just like coming up with a little bit of high left and playing the four ball in the pocket right where the nine ball is and just trying to get straight in or just a touch of angle on the four, go out to the five and kind of go from there. Or you actually with this angle, I like using high low right and spinning over for the four in the same pocket but we'll see what he does you don't like playing top left and leave the four and to the side but oh oh he's played for a corner okay i was gonna say with left spin could have killed yeah. the kill for the four on the side yeah maybe i don't know i get i get weird on those a lot and i just try to avoid that certain shot for my personal preference Good stroke. Maybe a little bit more angle on the five ball. If he plays draw, he might be able to miss the eight, but has to be careful with the scratch in the side. Good stroke there. You really don't want to go too far with this. Just a little bit of low left kill stroke to kind of get it around the side pocket and just take your angle from there. Good stroke. Really good shot there. His composure is really, really good. Yeah, just wondering, if you go stun right two rails, do you end up too high on the eight ball? Do you have to play plain ball and just go off the short rail one rail for the eight in the side? It might be a possibility, but I think whatever you can do to have a better... Oh, he's playing for the corner. Wow. He's confident right there. Yeah, he does play a lot of shots to the corner. And actually, 
it does show a lot of confidence. Pain McBride, nicknamed Major Pain. He does have a fantastic chance here to get on the hill in the first set. And he is swinging for sure. Beautiful stroke on that one. Took what a table gave him, didn't try to force anything. Kept the angle on the nine, and now he looks primed and ready to make the nine to the ten. Yeah, nicely two rails. Can't really over hit or under hit the cue ball playing such a big area. So this 10 ball to get on the hill first. And this is going to put a lot of pressure on Skyler. Two breaker runs in a row. Yeah, there it is. Nicely done, Pay McBride. Yeah, I'm more impressed about his composure and the way he's following his pre-shot routine every time. It's very tough to do when you're on a shot clock and when you're on a big stage. So hats off to him, and I hope he keeps this up. Well, especially one thing I mentioned in the first wreck, you know, with the nervy start, a couple times the shot clock came up, and I said, well, he has to watch the time a bit. But the last two wrecks, I haven't really seen him get in trouble with the shot clock as well. So he might got loose. He might have gotten loose here. Yeah, I think uh, when you're the underdog in a match on paper, you can kind of just follow your steps to get through the ball with a lot of less expectations. And you're just going to kind of do your best and whatever the table gives you, just go with it. Skyler's first opportunity since his miss in the first rack. What do you think of this, Tim? Yeah, I mean, it's a free shot. On the other side, well, I don't know. I'd rather tuck the cue ball in nicely. Yeah. I don't know why exactly he's called a 10. Just in case. He does Bride have... is from Indiana, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, I actually don't recall what city because I believe also they live a little bit in the... Oh? They have a pretty good result on this one. Just there is a 110 bank combo. I do remember that they do live a little bit outside in the country. So not too many pool rooms around but I also know that they have traveled a bunch I mean there has been so much of investing in this young man yeah, that was a nice shot from Sky all started with a good safety on the one ball beautiful 1-10 combo for the win in this rack. Now 3-1. 
So with Sky on the board now, what's your what's your thought about pain? Are you just gonna try to keep it simple like you've been doing, or are you gonna try to maybe uh, squeeze him a little bit here? No, if if you look at it, basically, pain has not made a mistake in this wreck, or at least that's how I feel about it. Like I mean, like a big mistake where you can feel bad. He ran the first wreck, ran two breaker runs on top of it. He just has to be patient, and if he gets another opportunity, go at it and do do whatever he's been doing so far. I don't think he can be too disappointed about losing this rack. I mean, he's kicked once, where he's left the 110 bank combo, which Kai made. It's not like a sucker shot. Yeah, he hasn't done right. much wrong. Just kind of, hopefully, hopefully Sky will give him a shot this rack, and he can take advantage. And if not, it'll just be a close match. Yeah, I just. Pain has to stay focused, you know. He could have an opportunity this rack or the next one or maybe after. Not too many times people has ran the set, so just be ready for whenever it happens. Nice break from Sky, two balls on the break, just a little unfortunate with shape. If he can see the right side of the ball, I like going one, then in the then in the one, and going one two rails behind the ten two seven. I don't think he can, by the looks of it. He's looking at playing the push and leaving that long cut on the one ball without getting the cue ball out of there. Well, I mean, coming from Sky's perspective, you'd rather him shoot a safety than shoot at the ball. You know, if I was Sky, I'd rather be in a safety battle with Pain than I would a shooting contest. Yeah, I guarantee. We'll yeah, see of you course, have especially pain. especially with the, with the young players, they're not shy to swing at something, which is always dangerous. To, more experience a player has, the more they know when to duck. Doesn't mean Payne couldn't make this two ball and uh, this one ball and get on the two ball. Beautiful. Now we see on the two needs a little bit more on the two. Yeah, just actually, <laughs> he struck that really nice. Just. Did not get on the two ball. Maybe there was one of the things that Sky was thinking about. If I leave him this shot, how often is he going to get shape on the two ball? Ten ball. Ten ball. Didn't think it had the angle, but here we go. Oh, the 10 ball, two rails. Two rails, Tim, two rails. I believe the five ball is in the way. Big bounce, or is Skyler going to have a shot? Yep, Skyler is wide open here. Follow forward a little bit for the five in the corner or the side, to all preference. Yeah, so the push-out like has pocket. the push out has earned Sky at least another rack by the looks of how the balls are spread. Should be out. Needs at least straight on the seven ball. I think he's just gotten straight, so just got there. Oh, 
Making sure he chalks up. Very good stroke there. Did he get enough angle to come up one rail, Tim? I do think so. I think he can go forward two rails. I mean, he's got so many options. If he's straighter, he can play draw for the nine in the side. He looks to be going forward, so plenty of angle. Especially in the open layouts, I don't. I wouldn't expect Woodward to make an open mistake. Especially for being pain, I would just look at the small chances, as in playing a little bit more detailed safety. Maybe a little bit kicking, but still, I, I Payne just has to wait and don't expect to get back to the table when you leave an open table like this. Just, you know, just wait. And if you get another chance, then be there. Bing bong. So a three two. Tell Skyler is finally getting a stroke. Yeah, but this is also what we have been expecting, right? We called a early lead for McBride to put some pressure on Sky, but slowly Sky will get into stroke, so that would for sure make this either a close first set or a very close match if Payne wins the first set. Not as good of a spread on this one, but this is more of a difficult one, two to three ball. I would say use a little bit of low right English and use the spin to kind of take it to the around the middle of the table. Then you get the two ball to go in the left hand corner as we see it. Come out two rails for the three. This is one of a this is a preference shot though because you could also stun back and forth. I personally would probably just use the spin. No, you could use high right. Come off two rails, right back to the middle of the table. And might have not hit it as hard as he could have. I was gonna say he could have played for center of the table. It's kind of pretty blind left. Put the two ball on the side. Now it's time to get the two ball glued with the end. I think I would bank the two ball straight up table over the short wall. And possibly maybe the two ball on the floor. Maybe the two ball on the floor. I could play the bank, though. If that's the best. The ball ran a little far. Get to go. I don't think he's got it.
Good shot there on from Skylar on the two ball. And I think this rack seems to be his. Just have to make sure he's good on the four to the five. And then the six to the seven. They all seem to be pretty open here. Yeah, you would expect Skylar to get at least to Hill Hill here. a very important shot from the six to the seven so you have to make sure on this five ball you get where you want on the six so you can slide over for the seven in the lower left hand pocket as we see it good stroke there middle of the table now he has to draw back would you draw back to the rail and out or would you just come back to where you want to get i would take the extra rail because the extra drill is also going to guarantee you to have an angle from the 7 to the 8. If you come up too short, you still have to go two rails, get to the center, you get longer on the 8. But now actually he's overdrawn. It also came up pretty weird point. on this. Yeah. Can you still play draw into the rail and come back out, center of the table? Beautiful there, really good shot. Yeah, like I mentioned, in the open positions, we've, I mean, we all know that he's comfortable, good shooter, shot maker. So, would expect him to get on the hill here. Three each. And not really much pain could have done until now from 3-zip. Yeah, good stroke there. Do you just stay up here or do you go with the extra rail and cross over to the 10 in the same side of the table? corner pocket where he's at no i would do yeah, the same like thing that. yeah just like that ladies and gentlemen it is hill hill hey this is exactly the kind of match people are wanting to see including myself i mean i would like to have a close match instead of the favorite in this match so far sky maybe overrunning pain I'm actually happy to see that this is a match. We actually do have a match here. I'm excited for pain because even after this match, no matter what, win or lose, he can look back at this and kind of see that he didn't have any real hiccups or mistakes in the run out part of the game, but more in the decision making and safety play where he might have been a little too aggressive trying to make the two ball off another ball on the side when he could have just done something else and had more of a containing safe, right? Yeah, maybe uh, he's trying to force the safety a little bit too much. Instead of sometimes just wait and not leave something open. But it's all going to come down yeah, to this break. Yeah, sometimes it's better. <laughs> yes, it is. straight in the side no shot after the break but really a pretty decent break from sky
Got a Hill Hill Thriller. It's always something that happens when it's Hill Hill, doesn't it, Tim? Yeah, it always triggers everybody around. They always want to catch the ending of the match. Well, for sure this is, well, not the ending of the match, but f the ending of the first set, which nobody would want to miss, right? On the other side, I would not expect Payne to give this back. Could tie the cue ball behind the three ball. Could play opposite sides, cue ball b on the top of the five and the three ball on the other side. Or is it a two ball? Might be mistaken, but... Yeah. It's touchy though, because you don't want to hit the six with the two. Because then it'll stay there and you'll probably sell out. So you got to make sure it clears the six. Just like that. Get there. Yeah, nicely done. That. I mean, of course, he could have locked up Sky pretty bad in the corner. But still, this is a difficult position. Would you try to kick at the right side of the two ball with a lot of speed? Bank the two, maybe? Kick bank? Cue ball back down table? It's a tough... It's a tough ask. I think just making contact and hoping for the best sometimes is what happens and this is one of those instances where make contact with the ball first and just hit it with the correct speed and hope something good happens oh wow. my lord wow. this is unbelievable <laughs> can you imagine bing bong <laughs> well but <laughs> yeah this is bing bong oh boy <laughs> I mean wow I didn't shot. see that one coming unreal shot by Sky just this is exactly why I said right after the safety from pain I said he could have locked up the cue ball just a hair more to take away this kick and of course at this point on three each Sky kicks it in beautiful kick really it's not out yet He'll have to hold his focus and composure for this last five balls. Six balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's there's one more, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't, I went to uh, American schools. <laughs> oh. I am so surprised he tried to play the bump on the 10. I was just wondering. He so this is, uh, he's ball. really... The, the, the eight would go to the bottom left corner. He is very good at three cushion. So we'll see if he can get in between the seven, eight on the way back through off those rails here. See, just like that. And he's going in that path. I think this is a jump for pain, but I would I would personally kick at this ball. Try oh, to make the six I would in love the side. Yeah, I love to kick at this. If you catch the eight could be gold Let's see if we can do another bing bong <laughs> 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 don't mind don't mind me this is a big shot for this young man Anything it's also a big scratch, you gotta be careful. Enough pace, you won't be able to scratch. Yeah, like this, I love how he's played this. Beautiful. Beautiful there shot. No, there's not a window, right? He did great. Is there a window or a door? Neither. Oh, okay, that's good. Are you biased? <laughs> for pain, that's good, I was saying. For pain McBride, oh. that's good. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh, look at the cue ball. He just cue called cue that and then scratched. Oh no. Oh. Ow. Can wow. you believe With the shot clock going off, 
called the combo. Can you believe that's one for the highlight me? reels? Bing wow. bong. <laughs> this is unreal. That is awesome. <laughs> I cannot believe okay, one more you shot. Made that shot. Oh wow, wow. good He's shot there too. He is stealing this set. Can you believe He's it? He's gonna have to run into this ten ball. See how he runs into the 10 ball here. A little bit of draw. Beautiful. Oh, did it block it? Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh. You that could hear the crowd. Another twist of this match. Wow. <laughs> Sky asking, they don't count? Really? Of course it doesn't count. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, quite some highlights from these young players. Sky decently young, Payne extremely young, but what a steal for Skyler Woodward. He has come up with the shots. What? The is what a set. What a set. The shots he had to come with the first set to come back and win that match. Those were at least three amazing highlight worthy shots. So both players decided to take a little break. Of course, it's been quite some set. So they have to regain some focus. Let's look at the statistics. Skyler did make 80% break success, which is quite good in this format. Also safety efficiency, 100% for Sky. Yeah, I mean, it's tough for Payne because there's also safeties which he played where Sky came up with absolutely tremendous escapes. I actually think the statistics look worse for Payne than he actually played. Here's the jump. Unbelievable. Look at this. The 6-9 combo. Look at Payne clapping. I mean, what, what can you do from the chair? He's played a beautiful kick save, and Sky just makes that. I mean, Payne put him in some seriously messed up situations, and Sky got out of it every time. That's insane, to say the least, but at least Payne knows that he's playing well, and he's doing all he can. Well, it would be... You know, sometimes players only look at the result and then based on how they lost the first set, being up 3-0, they might tell themselves that they messed up. And then the second set, they actually start to play less good. And it would be sad if this happens to Payne because he has played a good set. You know what we say about that, Tim? What? I don't know, I was hoping you would know. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> look at, look at no, this I arena. Can't say that. No, I can't. It's so beautiful. <laughs> so what do you think about these arena lights, Chris? I think they're awesome. I think they're really beautiful. The way they look is phenomenal and the table looks great. Well, you also do some uh, photography. Do you feel a difference with maybe these lights compared to other pool room lights? Yeah, I mean, you have about 17 of them above the table, so it helps, you know. <laughs> but um, <laughs> photography and uh, pool lighting, you know, in a bar or something is really bad. But when you're at good events like these with good lights, it's, you know, it makes all the difference. So big shout out to our sponsors. You see them on the screen. Beautiful LED arena. And we've had we'll have so much more action to come.
Just currently waiting for all players to get back to the arena. I do believe it was Payne's break. No, it was Kai. Kai started breaking in the first set. So if Payne can continue the way he's been breaking, he could be off to a good start in the second set as well. This, this jump, I cannot believe that happened. So we are back, ready for the second set. Pain will break off and Let's see what he can make on the break here. You see, really, his break has been good this match. One ball straight in the side. Five ball, four rails in great shape on the two ball. If he can get to the three ball, it'd be a great start for this youngster. like to play a little bit more speed maybe use two rails to always stay off the rail always play this two rails and now it's a difficult 310 it would be a quick visit This is more a positional error than an actual error on the shot. If he came off the rail just a bit, I'm sure the shot would have been so much more comfortable to shoot at. Yeah, I think it was more of a mental error on his side by getting on the rail there. Um, I think he played a good shot with the 310, but you know, it just it was tough being on the rail. You just it's hard to it's hard to navigate. little short on the bank which hit the point and went almost in the corner there I think Payne might be able to mass say this a little bit or spin around the nine he jump in the ball here he jump in the ball well if he can just miss the 10 it's not too not too bad. Tough jump. Maybe you can mess it a little bit into it. Most of the time, play, jumping with the spin, you can catch it a little bit wide. So you're going to get a little luck. A 
ball definitely had enough air. And another safety for Sky. Good shot there. Here you're going to have to kick one rail and try the three in the corner, the top right hand corner as we see it, unless he's going the other way and massaying a little bit into the three. I think either way there's so much possibility to sell out that you have to just pick one and go with it. Well I like going this way and firm. Did he get away with it Tim? No. No. But I do like the way how he's played it. If we catch it a little thicker, there was going to be enough separation. Oh, he might have stuck himself. Not easy to navigate here. It's kind of interesting because sometimes Sky looks like every time he's in the open, he will not miss a ball, and then sometimes his shapes are like this, like very random, and it doesn't get any better. Look at this for an unlucky roll. Yeah, I believe you have to jump this just because you can create distance, and you might be able to call the 10 ball here just in case. Try to play more of a thin, more of a jump safe. So referee called the six in the side. Then last second Sky changed for the corner. I believe he would always get better de separation on the six ball if he went for the corner, right? Good stroke there from Payne. Really good stroke there. Well, even though Skyler has been shooting himself a little bit more into this match, the goal is still the same for Payne, is to put early pressure on Sky to hopefully win at least the second set here. did call the side bucket, but very aggressive. Oh, almost got lucky over the nine. But I'd rather have played a good safety or go all in to the side and not play it two way. If he had made it, it would have been such a difficult nine ball as well. This guy's going to have to juice this because he's going to get no man's land if he just rolls it in. Oh, wow. Looks like it's pains to win this game. Let's see if he can cut it in. Yeah, kind of his bridge and cue kind of just popped up off the shot halfway through. You got to make sure you stay down on the ball and just get through the ball, deliver the cue stroke. Yeah, long cut, but great chance. Probably going to play the nine in the 
Well, I was gonna say he could have left the nine on the bottom, or the cube on the bottom for the nine in the top corner pockets. But he's played a beautiful shot on the eight. Nice speed. Small draw on the nine. Just a big he doesn't back look phased by the back. moment, Tim. No. But the thing that's interesting is also is that the first rack of the first set, which Payne won, was also a little back and forth, a couple safeties, Sky missed the two ball and then Payne ran out. And now we had we've had a similar thing. First set, Payne showed up with two breaker runs in a row after. Just wondering if he can do it again. Major Payne McBride to break. The one zero in the second set, Tim. Yeah, I just just mentioned last time he was one zero up, he ran a two pack on Sky. It's gonna depend on this break. This time the one ball did get kissed, but it found a corner, found a six ball as well, and a shot on the two ball. I would say maybe all the hard work around the two, three. Two ball to the three and the three to the four. A lot of movement on the break. Yeah, once you get to the four, it all kind of leads to each other. So it's more about just staying poised, staying focused, and getting through the ball in the first two shots here. Go on the wrong side of the three ball for preference. Do you think he can spin around two rails for the four in the same pocket? I think he can go around the nine ball, top right. I wouldn't go close around the corners. I would take myself a little longer on the four ball. Beautiful stroke there. And he is hitting the ball very confidently and I'm very proud to see him do that. I mean, the younger players in the US are all coming up thanks to junior international championships and all the other things they have to play against each other and compete and it's obvious in their level of play recently yeah another young uprising star in my eyes Wouldn't that be wild if he runs a two-pack again after going up 1-0 in the first game? Well, it also shows, if you look at how... It also looks... It, it, it shows that the me mentally, for a young kid, he doesn't look too 
impressed by a player like Sky. If you run a two-pack in the first set, you lose the first set, and then the second set, you just do it again. That already shows you're on a different level. There's many people that cannot do that. Came up a little straight on this eight ball, though. Might have to just go forward and take a longer nine, just bump two rails, or draw into the long rail and back out, but sloppy position on the eight. And again, not straight on the nine, so might have to... Yeah, Th these are difficult. Chris, what would you play? Small angle on the nine, are you gonna play this very sensitive and hold the cue ball? Or are you gonna try and get to over to the other side of the ten? Um, I, I, I prefer to go through the ball, just like that. Uh, I'd probably try to go a little further though. I would have tried not to hold it. I would have tried to make sure I hit it harder than I thought I needed to hit it. Well, that was the, the scrappy thing is he's had, he had such an in-between angle and I feel he was trying to hold the cue ball. And both could work, but it's really depending on your style as well. This is a preference, but I probably would have done the close bridge on that one, just so I could have a little easier power. Wow, look at this oh. shot. Oh my goodness. Wow. What a try. That was almost amazing. That was a very, very good effort. Skyler for the win to tie it up. Tie it up at one apiece. We'll see if he can do it. Uh -oh. I'll talk talking Can about it he's coming look at this what a drama call your pocket <laughs> Hey, that tempo could be a huge difference as well. Like I said before, first set, pain, ran two, break and runs. Now, Sky has made that slipper on the end. Pain McBride up 2-0. With a good break, could play himself on the hill again. Really good break there, good cue ball. And he has sold out the one with a shot on the two-weight combo. Let's see what Sky does here. Try to get himself back into this match.
but still a difficult one, right? Look at the three, four, five. Looks like the five as difficult from the view we just had. It looked like the five did go to the corner. Now from this angle, it really looks like the five ball doesn't go to the corner. Beautiful speed. Good start. We are going to find out if that five ball does go to the corner. I still don't think it, you can. So can he make the four and bump the five ball slightly? very strange things happening at this point is he not able to run into the five draw into the five ball if the five was so too tough to get on the five did go but huge mistake for Woodward Just doesn't want to get straight on the seven. Oh, look at the cube as well. Oh, no. And that is very costly. I was ex actually expecting him to, well, not even get close to the corner. The biggest trouble would have been to be straight on the seven and and he scratched. So what could have been three? I would have rather gotten. Would rather have gotten straight on the seven, Tim. Yeah, yeah, I, <laughs> I do understand. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just, I can understand. This is this is a tough one for him to process mentally, because again, this was a great chance to get himself on the hill. So. So it's 2-1. If you look at the offensive side, the first set, Payne ran out 40% of his chances. This has dropped to 13% of his chances. And this is probably one of the reasons why he's now 2-1 instead of on the hill
On the other side, Sky, of course, did have the chance earlier to level the score in his second set. Missed the 10 ball. So, in theory, the average score would have been 2-1 anyways in this second set. It's all going to matter on this break, really, if he gets shape or if he gives shape. Oh, lost the cue ball. Nothing going in. Shot on the one, just nothing easy on the three ball. Just a little bit much top spin on the cue ball. you have any options with the three ball or would you just play position for safety on the three, Chris? Probably just play position for a safe on the two or the three until it gets opened up. Missed it a little thin and got rewarded for it. Well, I was also considering maybe playing the safe right away on the one ball. Just <laughs> obviously not the way he just played it. Oh, really good light. shot there. Wow. This is Heck a beautiful shot. shot. Beautiful good kick. Speed. Yeah, quite some good kicking in this match. Yeah, took the jump cue out. Probably just called the one ball in the side just in case. He's got so much traffic on the side of the table that I do like him jumping. There. I was gonna say, believe it or not, with how the three ball is there, it's not too horrible as long as the ten ball would drop. Yeah, I tried to get shape on the two ball, center of the table, and then drop to the short side of the three. I wouldn't try to get shape on making the three ball. Maybe just stick the cue ball with the nine. Yeah, just play about where the in between the five and the three ball, if you can, or just play the three ball in the same pocket you made the two ball in. We'll see how he hits it, but I think that might be the shot from where he's at. Well, if he can go two rails, he either comes up short and plays his top shot safe behind the nine, or has the three to the same corner. Oh, little Beautiful luck! Shot. Oh, Don't little... go behind the eight. Oh, oh my God. goodness. Can you imagine That's this brutal. is unbelievable. I mean both of them has had so many well brutal and lucky rolls in one match. This has like been one of the weirder sets that I've watched. He nudges the seven, thinking about getting on the three ball, and then he look at how he's tied with the eight. Here's the kick. Oh wow! Whoa, whoa. He hit the whole this seven. Is, this is this is exactly what I've been saying. Like, I, I 
these sets are so weird at the moment. Well, now, now the three ball goes, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He should be able to make the three and run out. Draw back, stop shot on the four, follow on the five ball, back down table on the six, and you're done. Or you're not done, but you should be out of the woods. Out of the Rio. So what side of the ball are you trying to get on this? Are you trying to pop out a little bit or just stay there so you have a guaranteed angle to go towards the 610? I think I would just drop this in and stay around the long rail because if you pop out and now once out of 10 you under hit, you understroke the ball, now you're straight on the 5. If you drop it, you're guaranteed angle. Right. See? Yeah, I agree. So this, you know, he, he, he took the guaranteed option, which I like. So should be able to go in between the 10 six. Just plain top spin. Now, got a little bit more angle to hold the cue ball where the six is now to come back up for the eight. I wouldn't mind going one reel and leave myself far on the seven ball. Just make sure I have angle to go around the angles. I really Just don't like mind that. this. I'd rather have a long That's shot good. with a guaranteed angle than being close but straight. Low left, four rails position, three rails, possibly four. Beautiful done. This is to get on the hill and still, you know, if you look at the score count, Payne did have a chance in the first set and definitely has a chance in the second set to get it to a shootout. Yeah, he's firing on all cylinders right now. He's playing well, good rhythm around the table, and I look for him to run this out and get on the hill first in this set. Yeah, he's perfect on the 10, so 3-1 Payne McBride if he makes this, and... I mean, I actually do think he deserves to win one set. He might actually be playing better than Sky this match. For sure. 3-1. A lot more McBride. consistent, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, of course, Sky came up with unbelievable shots, we know. But... This doesn't mean that the youngster is playing consistent, good positions, good cue ball, just a couple safety shots, that's it. So all the pressure is on, well, it depends how you look at it. In my opinion, all the pressure is on Sky, because Sky would love to leave the arena and say okay I won this one no shootout I'm good I don't believe there is any pressure on pain because you know he has a free shot he can he's competing with one of the best players in his country It's easy sometimes as an underdog to to say, okay, let's just wing at it, and if it doesn't happen, then work up till next time. The 
Let's have a dry break. See, then catch the one ball full. Was making the one ball in the side when he was catching it fuller in the face. Now, this guy does have a top spin, top left spin. Let's crawl back down to the center of the table on the two ball. Two ball does go in this bottom right corner, you can see. Not as much left spin as I expected Sky to play. It's called a two. Can he still draw the cue ball out, Chris? Uh, maybe he's thinking about going off the nine with the cue ball. Can he do that slightly? Or no, he's going forward. Wow. Can he miss the nine? Miss the nine? Oh. Oh, uh, play it off the eight. I like that. I was going to say, I didn't believe he was going to miss the nine, but he, you can see he overcut the two ball. And firm. It was a difficult position as long as he got past the six, and he did. Seeing every time this, the moment where Sky can lose the set, kind of looks like he, he makes something happen. Yeah, he gets that next gear, doesn't he? Yeah, the only thing is maybe a later stage in the tournament he might need to be there from the start. Yeah. Of course, easily said and done. We've all been showing up to our best matches in our lives and also not showed up to possibly the worst matches of our lives. So, easy to say. Also looks to be playing a little faster now. Out of the sudden at the end, like looks a little bit speedy and different vibe going on. It's like whenever he gets down, he's like, oh, let's play a little faster and let's find some rhythm. It's almost like a survival instincts kick in. Closes the gap to just one game. And same thing for Payne, like I mentioned the first set. Of course, this set he has missed an opportunity. I believe he's missed the eight in the, what is it? Third rack, fourth rack. Third rack. But then on the other side, I mean, in this case, you gotta be patient. So breaking from the side rail, they've been doing this the whole match with a square hit, looking to make the one in the side and possibly four railer on the six. No ball and... That one ball went all the way up and back down the table. Now they're looking at the one. Um, see the problem with this is if he tries to stick it behind the eight, he might make the seven on accident. I actually don't think he can hit the one ball that much in the face. It 
he could, you know, if he feels his position is a little bit awkward, why not push? Just play a push. Get just barely a better look. Is he gonna thin the one and bring the cue ball three rails around the table? He could meet the eight. Is he gonna play this soft behind the six? Not a huge fan of this shot. Meet the eight and Good Sky intention. is gonna like this. Sky can Good intention nick behind the one the ball. <laughs> we do seem <laughs> to meet each other. <laughs> <laughs> we give each other a little room to talk, and then we're like, okay, he's not talking, let's go ahead now. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Tim. No, I was just going to say, he could have nicked the one ball behind the five and the cue ball behind the six. He tried to get a little bit more distance, didn't get it. Up to you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like it. I agree. It got really close, actually, to tucking the cue ball nice behind the six and locking pain up. Can he bank the one ball f three, four rails out towards the eight and the cue ball second diamond on the short rail behind the 10-2? Ten, 10 ball on the side pocket, okay. So he's gonna two rail the one ball, hopefully create distance. And you know, if he gets lucky, he gets lucky. That's basically what he chose to call. Oh. I was gonna say, if he makes the one in the side, he will feel sad not to call that one, but he's found a cover. But Sky has already made a monster jump before. Can he make one again? Not there. Can you believe he's done this now in both sets? <laughs> he's, he's, he's walking around like he's the king at the moment. Look at this, which shape. We've got plenty of highlight shots for sure this match. Yeah, and they all come from about Hill Hill or close to Hill Hill. Something about it. I mean, indeed, it's not like he's been making those shots while not being under any pressure. He's coming up with unreal shots while a young upcoming star could be beating him. And of course, Sky does feel the pressure of playing a young American that, you know, does have the aspirations to get to the same results as he's had in the past Let's see is he gonna just soft roll this I think that's his best way yep any other way the 5 ball would move too much play the 6 in the side pocket yeah it's just up to what he can reach. If he can reach, just play for the side. If he can reach, I would play the six ball in the same corner as the five ball. Kinda interesting how he's using the extension on this. Doesn't look like one of the toughest positions he might be playing yeah I do like this can never go too far or too short unless you baby the ball
Yeah, so it looks like we're gonna have another hill hill set. So Woodward on the double hill. Yeah, what is your prediction, Chris? I predict that... I'm going to say that we get a shootout. I'm going to say Payne wins this game. You know, I would think it, this match would be even more crazy if now Payne makes an unreal shot to clinch his last rack. Then we've seen almost everything. A little bit similar to what Sky did the first set, where he stole the first set. Well, we're gonna find out soon. Here comes the break. Oh, he did. Cut the break a There's little a bit big more, cluster. actually. Then. He did cut the break more. Like, he's not happy with how the wreck spread, but it's not like he's hit it full in the face. More of a cut break. So, Payne has called the one ball in the side. He's probably going to try and get the cue ball underneath the two or the eight. I'm sure there is different options. Wow. Well, you know, the crowd actually, they were sad not to see the one ball go in, but he was actually not trying to make the one if you look at the cue ball. Just trying to get a cue up behind the eight, which he's done good, nicely. Just that three ball. That three ball is so buried in traffic. Would you? You go for the break out here because the two is so <laughs> close. I love it when we are about to say the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was just gonna mention I, I think you have to if you want to win the set this is the moment uh -oh. I'm ball where are you going he... oh no oh no. my goodness <laughs> you know in some way it can get worse in some Bing way bong. Yeah, in some way, bing bong. You know, it could have been a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your shot here, Tim? Uh, cue ball spin behind the five ball in between the rail and the five. So a lot of left. Could maybe play stun and send the three ball up table. Just basically only cue ball control. Don't look at the three ball. If you tie that cue ball in between the rail and the five ball, it's a winner. No window. Not too hard here. Does Sky come up with a bank? It's, it's a little longer than you would have liked, but it is there. You, he could if he wanted to. Could even play two. Well, yeah, two way. If he doesn't make it, three ball ends up behind the six seven. If you miss it long. On the other side, could also send the three ball, one rail bank up table, and the cue ball three rails behind the four. I think it's better left side of the three ball. Uh, 
Now, is the speed, is there a window or a door? There is a door. Crowd clapping, but Sky is not going to be happy about this. He's calling the nine ball here? Oh, that would be aggressive. Oh. I'm not too sure if that's the shot. Yeah, I like using right English coming off the left side, middle left side of the three ball, sending the three ball to the other side. But yeah, I don't like this. Oh, at all. he needs a little luck. He needs a little luck. Does he get some luck? He did leave a cut on the three. Can he get decent shape on the four? Yeah, I think you got to use right English and come in tight towards the left hand corner pocket and come out two rails for the four in this in the corner on the right. Oh, got a little, little bit. Yeah, good work. Should be okay. Needs another shot on the four. Would you run into the four? Bump the five out. Oh, he Good found shot. the window, the gap. Nicely done. Yeah, maybe one or two. Not saying horrible decisions from Payne. Just first set, maybe a couple safety shots. And then now the second set, he went aggressive. And then I don't think we both felt the carom on that nine ball. Yeah, but most of it comes from experience. We've we've played a lot of we've played a lot more tournaments than Payne. He's so young, you know, uh, even though this is a tough time for him, it's something that he can learn from and maybe make a little bit of better of a decision in the moment next time. Well, and every year he's been... Oh. Okay. That worked. Every year he's been better and better. So, everybody make sure you watch Payne McBride. Major Payne. He does lose 2-0 in sets against Kyla Woodward. But what a match we have had so far. And we'll have plenty of more to come. Actually, really soon we'll have another cracker on the list. So, make sure you tune in. This was Chris Reinhold and myself, Tim De Reuter. I'll see you guys soon.